I mean, when you want to win, you got to take risks, right? Made in Philippines are going to go for this. Uh, from CDR, as Young God's going to get gone on, and the first blood. Lucifer is doing a great job pointing these creeps. I have this no is, idea what. This is, this very, is weird. This is a very traditional approach for Dark Shares. You want to go for the creep skip, right? Like the first two yeah. or three minutes is cast away? He's gonna get right clicked down. And the Ion Shell doing the extra work, as you did mention, he's one of the better characters. And uh, you exactly. really don't want to go searing chains on the hero either. Oh, well, they're making he a rotation. This castaway is not coming, but oh my god, he out jukes him. They scared him. He doesn't have. He doesn't even have bottle yet. It's four minutes. This, this, this lane is, is so bad for Ember Spirit. Well, but we will see if that mid gank or potential is hard for you as Mamang Daya goes down. There's that gold for the bottle. They might even dive tower to get this kill. No remnant, no nothing. Loza Fice coming around. Mamang Daya looking for the dive oh, as they God. find him with the poison touch and the waves. Castaway coming a little late to help out. If they get the counter kill on the dazzle, this is worth it though. As Lucify, I think he'll be able to escape, although his role... He has role. Yeah, he's fine. He should be fine. And when the Ember Spirit returns to the fray, they will try and go move on to Rapido. Light of his steering chains will contact onto the Dark Seer. And a few more right clicks coming out from the cores of Neon Esports should take care of Rapido. Your Dark Seer, you can punish that by just killing him. Uh, Castaway mid though. Mamang Daya looking for the dive as slowly but surely the Nature's Prophet should die here. A beautiful wave coming out. The Viva moving on onto the mid lane. They want to move on to Mamang Daya. Are you sure about this? No remnants just yet on the Ember as they turn around with the Poison Touch CDR trying to make the contact and get the right clicks down. The Swarm finally arrives onto Mamang Daya. They're trying to get the Beetle off, but it doesn't work as Mamang Daya dies once more. A mid exchange and Wisdom this runes and against the nature's with nature's profit castaway taking their attention away. They can get both wisdom runes as Playhard goes for the dive. Looking to see control onto Young God, but JG coming in. He does have the call. He wants both of them though, and it's a little greedy as Mamang Daya comes down. Poison Touch making the contact. Ken still level Ken. five, mind you, but will make contact onto the Dazzle as the three of them will try and bully Dazzle to death. There's the first dunk. This JG will take that kill. Ken, really low. Here comes Mr. Remnant, but Lucify the dark here. Looking good so far. They catch up onto Rupido instead. They'll take that kill for themselves. As Lucify will just easily That's rotate out four. CDR on the behind as he will push out his mid laner. But CDR looking to go deep. Sukuchi, he doesn't care at all. Call down to zone them out as Yaya still trying to run away here comes the missile as it's coming cutting through everything the homing it will make contact along with the rocket barrage that damage should I said should be enough but Tsuguchi dive going in CDR we'll just time lapse out of there Ken needing to run out because Young God is coming in for the rotation but eventually Rapido will put out the wall onto the supports nonetheless which is not the guest JG gonna go for the call as on the backline CDR is just right clicking Mamang Daya down shallow grave ain't helping you much as homing missile locks him in the dazzles down as Ken still in the deep dive locking it in JG with another call this time on the Luna and we'll take out Young God there what a perfect rotation coming out from Neon as they will not lose casualties besides play hard might be in trouble I think you really, really need the copy of the axe. There's that beautiful call. Once more, he wants to go for the dunk. Yes, use that shallow grave. Let me just cut your head open. But there's just so much better stats and survivability. Yeah, he doesn't need the attack range. Alright, Lozify. Okay, they're making an aggressive move onto the free kill. Play hard, going for the catch, but the heal. It's kind of there on play hard. At the same time, the wall is down on all three of them. CDR looking for the deep dive as Ken sets up the kill onto Young God. They will look for the catch first on Rupido, and Young God falls as well as Castaway gets a double kill. Oh no. He's gonna get surrounded. And he doesn't get the axe. He was 80 gold away. 
Oh, and then he gets the negative. You do have uh, overgrowth on the tramp protector. If you're Ken here, you have to be careful. Yeah, you yeah, I'm will make the contact here. But where is the action? Right now, JG is up top. Ken will die immediately. As the wall falls, the call down. It's helping a bit. But yes, that little lockdown coming out from Nature's Wrath. It's going to do a bit of work as Young God tries to turn around with the Eclipse. But CDR with the time lapse still surviving. Castaways next. As it's 2 for 2 now, but if they get Young God, this is absolutely worth it as JG looking for the control finds it as well. Yaya, Maming Daya, kind of trying to split up the fight. Trying to bait CDR into coming in. They will take out Preyhard first as JG a little too behind. I'm feeling all alone. He will just walk out. They're diving for him. They want him. Oh, they catch out the dazzle as the call is there. And uh, he just dies as the rest Great of his people, team, I guess. As uh, JG coming down onto the bottom, Young God needs to cut himself out. JG trying to make contact with the Luna. Young God can't make it away as he's losing his tree and protector as well. Yaya gone. That is Young God as well. What a lockdown here. I mean, Neon, just perfect decision after perfect decision. Dying Daya. He's gonna get rocketed. Play hard. You can't solo kill this guy. Come on. As he's trying to make the escape, he does not have a TP out, but he will take Mamang Daya with him to the grave. As Castaway will tip his support pair. That's when he Ken. made the jump. Are they gonna go into Ken? He has a bottle rune. They, and they have perfect. They have a ward too. Oh my god. They're gonna goodness. try rolling it in. As at the same time, the shield rune is up. JG diving deep. But only flying illusions. Rupido trying to make it out of there, but eventually the rockets will kill him as CDR goes for the dive. You will step third up. It is the Earth Spirit as the right clicks coming out from the Weaver is just too much. JG, he's just gonna. Do I dunk? Oh no, I don't have mana for it, so he's not gonna go for that. But as Lucifer goes down, keep up the siege. There is just. The attempt coming out from Lozify again as Rapido trying to look out for the wraparound. Nice wall as Lozify just at the cusp of death. The Culling Blade was a bit too early, so they messed up there. But JG at the end, it will pay off as the kills are coming out very fast. Young God with the Eclipse looking for the turn, but CDR. Nine seconds until the time lapse, and he still has Aegis as four die. It's actually a team wipe. Young God just calls GG at 37 to 12. Neon Esports take game number one over Made in Philippines. Yeah, Neon just come, just outplayed Made in Philippines on the map the whole game. There's really not much else to say. E even when Ken was got dumpstered in the lane know, against. Oh man, this I'm actually th I actually think Made in Philippines have a better draft. They have better team fight. But then you leave your Stark alone. Yeah, it's it's difficult. Hard to say. Yeah, these choices are great. Another set of Shadow Poison comes out. Mining Daya trying to survive with the tree, but one more right click. The Poison Touch will be enough damage. They can turn this into something as a charge in. Goes through all to play hard. Nature's Prophet gonna be in trouble. That's another kill for Made in Philippines. I like the Slark pick too because you are purging off this Poison Touch coming from Dazzle. Oh, nice dream call turn to DD Rune on the Dazzle. Gonna do some work. No Shadow Wave, a Shadow Grave this time on the Dazzle as that DD Rune was wasted and Castaway dies as well. Made in Philippines, making it work for right now in the laning stage. Yeah, they match these. Work. As they are gonna make the rebound catch along with that adaptive strike. Ken comes in with the poison. Out comes the torrent, but it doesn't matter as the shadow wave is more than enough damage to set up CDR for the kill. The puck. What is Mamang Daya doing here? There's the drop with the dream coil. As they charge through on through. Ken with the shadow wave. Still trying to save people here, but play hard. Almost denied as a nice control onto Lozify, losing all both of his supports. Ken is in trouble now. Shadow Poison coming out. The laser, it's burning hard as the Dazzle will go down as well. Three for the price of one here, made in Philippines. Again with a beautiful rotation as Young God diving the tower. CDR goes down. Shadow Dance coming out from Young God as the Dark Pact is going through with the... You have all of the Spirit Breaker... All abilities 
Does Lozify mind this? I don't think Lozify minds this. Actually, they're gonna concentrate on Mamming Daya. And Lozify will just charge out onto the Dazzle as they throw everything at the corpse of Ken. He's just going down. It is such a hard morphling game. He, he, not being able to waveform is such Play a hard. big part of his pit. Did steal the rune, but he's gonna get punished for it. X Mark pulled back and destroyed is the Nature's Prophet. As Castaway should be next, the laser burns down to Marcy as Rapido. Uh, it doesn't have much points in the X, but it doesn't matter. They're gonna catch up with the Marcy eventually. Torrent, zone him to one direction. He does see it, so he's gonna try and dodge away on the other side. But X marked Aww. eventually pulled back in and destroyed. I think, I think they want to go uh, rather for the Legion Commander because AG is just yeah, all alone, him. man. Daya in with a dream call, breaks it instantly. Lozify not charging through just yet, now he is. As the sun will fall, Castaway can't not go for the Unleash play because he still doesn't have level 6, but JG gonna go for a duel, but at the cost of his life, Mamming Die against the duel. Damage, plus 10, as another strike just hits on to Castaway as the rest of Maiden Philippines just dives deep, gets Ken, and on to play hard they go. Shadow Dance committed onto the Nature's Prophet as he does see him, the pounce is ready in a second, and all he needs to do is just get the vision from Luzify. Yeah, Maiden Philippines, Philippines bring everybody Neon. Neon are in full crisis control mode. Oh, young god. No need to just purge himself off. Dual victory onto the Stark. Oh, nice. Uh, that was a good one. As he just overextended his limits, but the rest of the team were already taking out the first objective on the map. They're just gonna go in on this triangle. Well, let's look at the dive rebound coming out. JG will die. Uh, so will Lozify, but do we do have the Supernova team fight? If made in Philippines go choose to go for it as play hard, goes down to quarter HP, down goes the Nature's Prophet. As it's two for one now, Rapido oh, with the well, X play Prophet. hard. Gonna, gonna, gonna get X'd at the end of the day. Pulled back into the boat as Yaya will give him the vision for it. Ah, nice wave coming out. Rupido with the blade mail, Yaya. Oh, cannot TP out this time. Rupido with a torrent storm. He's gonna resummon it as Lozify charging out from the base. It's a long run if he can make it, but CDR. Gonna go for the aggressive as he might be punished for that. Dream call out as down falls the HP of the Morphling attribute shift immediately coming out of the morph and on to Ken goes Lozify. But CDR could be he be controlled here. Another pounce coming out from Young God as they do find the kill on the Morphling. The echo and the defusal will be more than enough for that as Ken will also fall. They just need to get the objectives now as the third. Yeah, will the Slark and hope for the best? Neon smoke up. As they try and go for Rapido with a duel, the Sunray will not be enough as the win will happen to JG this time around. I do believe this is like this. Uh, but they're doing such a good job at just making JG not have a game. Ooh, X mark. On to Castaway. A little bit of laser play along with that torrent. Here comes the ghost ship. They're going to keep their distance as in comes oh. Mandai. A beautiful duel coming out from JG. As at the same time, losing the, the puck doesn't mean jack right now for Maiden Philippines. It's even 4v5. They will fight into this. CDR. And just dodge out at the end of the day. Fast as possible. And even they can make the Hero Mary play. Into Roshan. As Young God diving up. Onto the Nature's Prophet. No rotations coming into this tier 2. As Mamming Daya starts sitting on the Nature's Prophet as well. JG coming out around about to it. On to Mamming Daya they go, but face shift out. Can he make like, it? Just live through a duel. You don't you don't stop the duel. Nah, as it, soon as oh, that morph, morph takes it away. CDR, gonna get caught out. Aegis is still alive as he's trying to just get out of here, but it's not possible. As the supernova comes out along with a bit of an early ghost ship, but a good catch with the dream coil should mean that they do get the morphling down. Instantly deleting the Aegis. MIP read this like a book. Yeah, now your Stark has 27 essence shifts. That bit they're of a pounce. More too. There's, As there's in comes no the charge. Lozify is coming all the way from the base, though. It's Mamming Daya looking for the pull in. They want to get control on the backline. As Young God dives in with the Shadow Dance. 
onto the back of it. Young God still will work to survive. Will the duel could come out or not as JG will get distracted. The Legion Commander needs to back off, buy back on Castaway as Ken will fall. The Dazzle is gone as Mamang Daya, they will get out of the... Uh, Does it fly? Play hard? Hi, how's it going? It's been a while. Wait. Oh, you're also support? How's it going? Oh yeah, I'm just gonna charge you and you're gonna get bounced to death. They're unstoppable. Next season. That's 16 permanent Aji. Why not? You're making a play on the Mamang Daya top. As Ken will fall inside the supernova. JG is like, oh yeah, I, I missed my timing. As uh, CDR in the thick of it all. But yeah, actually we shifted back. Play hard with the buyback. Trying to make this point of this game. Torrent Storm out. Rapido is going to stand his ground as Lozify comes in with a charge. Oh, Lozify, you just met with Play Hard. You're about to die again to, not to him, but to Mameng Daya this time around. As an X was dodged off, cast away. We'll manage okay, more. Gonna go and for this. Maybe oh! on Young God. JG just getting burst to hell. And back and back again. This Young God just gets DKB pulled back too. with the X. He's, he's just fine. Oh, 35 minute Wisdom Rune. Tell me your secrets. Uh, CDR. Gonna get caught out. Lincoln Spheres back and forth on the burn. But at the same time, a huge raise with the torrent as in comes the ghost ship. A stun up. Castaway is really low. Will be saved by Shallow Grave just a little bit. But the true target is gonna be the Morphling. CDR gets pulled back into the fray and down should the Morph go. Young God will just burn him with the Depth Shroud. With the Dark Pact. At the oh same time, goodness, Ken is diving. next. With the Depth Shroud, they're gonna dive the fountain as Young God is absolutely fine at half HP. Four uh, dead now. It looks like Made in Philippines will be evening up this series. Yeah, but uh, I mean, assuming there's no dual play from JG onto the Slark, baby, the cope. JG diving a deep. They will get the Slark this time. It was worth that Lincoln's break. But Mamming died. Oh my the deep goodness! Dive onto the high ground as Young God. He's just posed very aggressively. He's still got Aegis. He doesn't mind CDR just ripping into him a little bit. As the X mark will be purged off with the BKB. Lincoln's one breaks out of a hundred. But Ken charged up from top. Here comes the Space Cow. As they get control onto Ken. Down goes the Dazzle for a hundred seconds now. As Castaway also died back here. Young God up on the high ground along with the Torrent Storm. Made in Philippines just diving the fountain now. Yeah, they call it. Call of the GG from Neon as 51 to 14 with a 38k net worth lead. Made in Philippines even up the series. Uh. Yeah. Holy. Lane and, and yada yada yada, but. I just feel like this hero does nothing. Talk to me. Oh no, talk to me about the bottom lane as Young God about to get first blooded right here. Play hard. Managing to bramble maze. This little slark just here. A lot of damage. It's just whirling deaths plus brambles plus shadow realm. That's a lot of magic damage. Slarks notoriously do not fare well with really early. Phys uh, magic damage burst, and I mean, yeah, yeah. Oh, the dodge coming out, but the shadow realm right click will be enough to take down the phoenix. Can young god get the counter kill? Let's see, we'll be successful with that one. And you put you like pickled the instead. This is a really oh, a five. dive. Going for that deep dive onto Ken and the TP rotation coming out from the space cow. Yeah, that turn around with the take aim. Gives you a hundred percent. But as on the mid lane, again, another dive on to Ken. As Mamming Diet does have level six on the assassinate. Will the damage be there? Yes, it is. As down goes the dazzle. At the same time, the Bramble Maze doing the work this time. Neon, you gotta step up a bit. That like, Neon can punish that a little bit as the early game is gonna Young be a God little bit. Young God gets dived. Young God turns with the pounds onto the timber saws. JG is gone. Slain domination. We can't oh, emphasize this sitting here. I can't. Minute eight They're rune is definitely theirs as they dive the dazzle. Level six, no shallow grave. As obviously, you don't go for that just yet. 
illusion or oh, oh, JG. Oh, he's away. on the chase, but it doesn't happen. This castaway gonna be under vision due to shrapnel. Nice little support exchange here. Yeah, I was it checking is. out Young God using having to use all his spells to just avoid JG. Dyer's middle tower is taking it's one hell of a beating. They're pinging out a sniper. There's no way he, oh, do he doesn't. And with die. the catch this time, he will be punished for a bit of an overextension of the pressure on the tier one. But he yeah, does a fight. Like, huh, oh, hi, JG. What's up going? Oh, Blade of Alacrity on oh, that nice. courier as well. But let's see if the catch is there. Nice with the pounce, along with a greater bash. A few right clicks as Young God will take his third permanent essence shift on the Slark. And the push is mitigated, of course, by the living armor on top of everything. But CDR coming in onto the mid lane. He's starting to get right clicked. And with the charge, and with another... Not even needing to use Assassinate. Uh, that was uh, questionable at the best as Lozify gonna get rotated down by JG, but Xmark pulling back with the ghost ship under the guise of the Supernova. Burned them to death as the sun falls. Castaway is next. The player just dies in the dive as well. Mom and Daya. There are stacks though. That's what JG. they're here for. Again, another jump onto Young God, but they can't do anything with him. And as in comes the charge, Yaya trying to throw out the Shadow Poison and sit onto Mamming Dyer. The sniper is in trouble. Can lose a fight, make the rotation, the Diffusal Blade build, trying to save him as out comes the charge from CDR in the Spirit Breaker form. But can they avenge the sniper? JG goes down first, a Shadow Realm. Play from Playhard will be enough to kill Luzify. They do so show. But he is setting it up for the rest of the team to arrive. X mark the spot on the Morphling as the ghost ship comes in. Leash down, control. The Morphling is gone. As maybe catching up some stragglers. Out comes the Supernova coming from the Phoenix. As Castaway and Playhard need to back off here. Overgrowth will be committed, trying to survive. But Castaway gets dived instead. Down they go, one by one, there's three dead now. The last tier one tower will be MIPs. MIP made in Philippines, oh, keeping up the momentum, charge up onto the Spirit Breaker, Young God. They're just setting up onto Ken as the Nether Strike, just keeping him there will be enough to kill him. I can't even blame Ken for dying there. I mean, there were like four people bottom. So. Going on Mamang Daya here, but Yaya is just around the corner. If need be, they can throw out the egg. Mamang Daya dodging the brambles as in comes the Phoenix from the side. Icarus diving backwards. There's a nice little control from Neon coming in. Shrapnel to slow them down. Out goes the Supernova to distract them. That should be the death of the egg. There are not numbers enough here for MIP to survive here. Shrapnel and the turn. Shrapnel for the return. Young God going in a little too deep, but will throw out the Shadow Dance as well. Out comes the Chakram. Could the Slark be in a danger? Yes, he can. Overgrowth as well to hold him down. As everything to make Mom and Daya survive. Being in the game makes their abilities more impactful as... They're just waiting for the egg cooldown, but they're making rotation. Timbersaw might be in trouble. coming from behind as Yaya doesn't have the egg for 10 more seconds. Lozify will get the kill onto the Dark Willow as they do sacrifice one, but they can just easily delete the Timbersaw here. As Young God moving on onto CDR, the Morphling just in a very bad positioning will dodge the rest of it, but Mamang Daya takes care of Castaway as they set their eyes on Ken. Uh, this is a way less mobile hero as throwing out the water park as well. Another DD rune for MIP to take. I think the timber, I don't think the, the, the tree and protector and the, uh, the dark willow are mobile enough for this. As young god, really deep in the thick of it all. In comes the charge, they just instantly delete the dark willow as JG coming in for the play. Shadow. Dance instantly mitigated out. They do play with the overgrowth, but Castaway still dying to Yaya as the sun will fall. Ken is controlled and down with the dazzle as well as the timber saw. MIP just ripping you a new one. Oh, there's the catch as Slark v Slark. Fidesz trying to escape, but yeah, no more dark back for you, buddy. No mana, no nothing. Where's your mana? Oh, CDR, you're just gone. They're gonna it's go for Young more. God, it's a deep dive now for MIP. As they take Castaway as well. 
No tier two here. The triangle is there. They can just re-rotate. Oh, though, <laughs> like even if you know about it. The oh, one saving. Oh. Oh, God, come on, chill, chill, dude. Yeah, I know it, you have ages, but still. What is he this lives. aggression? Oh, beautiful rotation coming out with the Yules. Goes a fly. Oh, the tables have turned. They have the space cow now. But nah, still. I mean, they found CDR though with the charge and the X. There's the X pulling back out of his waveform with the charge. Lock him in. A CDR dies for the fourth time this game. He could be infringed on Morphling now. As uh, CDR oh. once again gonna get booted. Half HP as the Torrent Storm. Oh, it's actually <laughs> welcome to SeaWorld, bitch. He's gotta get out a little bit more. Wait for him out with the BKB, but Castaway is next. Shallow Grave on the Tree and Protector, but it does nothing. Young God's just happy to keep on hitting the Tree and Protector. In he goes with 35 Essence Shifts. He, he's just sitting on the high ground now. Backdoor protection's gonna be broken in a second due to the waveform on Dude. wave on the mid. You have a gem obviously on Young God. Oh my goodness. I mean, the map from Neon is almost as bleak as their chances oh, of winning this game. Gonna get instantly charged. Tidal wave will miss. Nice hex in the AoE as a dive in with the supernova. They're just baiting in CDR to die as the BK being Morphling. He's gonna get stuck under the sun as Young God dives in to run interference. Lizify will charge onto the backline, trying to get Locke onto play hard. The BKB will work out for him as the Dark Willow dies first. CDR charging through. We'll try and eat the grave, but out comes the Assassinate, and onto the Morphling they go. It was unreal. This play hard buys back, trying to hold on a little bit more, but without the Morphling, I don't think they have enough damage to even shake him off. No casualties on MIP as they take their second set of racks now. X mark on to Ken as the Dazzle just gets deleted oh by the charge. Castaway is next. They just call it. GG. 39 to 10 with a 32k net worth lead. MIP will pull off the upset and That's move on in the playoffs. I cannot believe it. Dude, MIP just beat Neon. Oh my goodness gracious sakes. And they did it with the same draft twice.